let me set the table, some food for thought on some realities. How can politicians who are supposed to be in the people pleasing business, how can they do the least on the issue that matters the most? Immigration is a great example of what the parties are really about. Bitching about the other side instead of advocating for your interests and investigating opponents instead of solutions. And this isn't cynicism. It's not even skepticism. It's fact. Trump and Biden were both at the border today, and neither is really there for good or important reason. Trump was trying to capitalize on the problem that he doesn't want solved right now, while Biden, on the other hand, is hoping to recast the reality of this issue. Here's what they both said. But this is a Joe Biden invasion. This is a Biden invasion over the past three years. I call him Crooked Joe because he's crooked. He's a terrible president, the worst president our country's ever had, uh, probably the most incompetent president we've ever had. I understand my predecessor's an eagle pass today. So here's what I would say to Mr. Trump. Instead of playing politics with this issue, instead of telling members of Congress to block this legislation, join me or I'll join you in telling the Congress to pass this bipartisan border security bill. Look, here's what I'll say. All right. Don't join Trump. Do it yourself. Use the executive authority that is in the INA, the Immigration and Nationalization Act, and lock down the border until the processing can catch up. You can do it. If they're going to chase you in court, fine. But do something, okay? And as for Trump, look, we know the deal. Trump is behind killing the bipartisan Senate bill. And he did it for the worst reason, to keep the chaos going for the campaign. This is it. This is not my opinion. Senator McConnell said it, and Trump didn't deny it, okay? And the House GOP resistance, that that's what it's about, that makes no sense either. Why? Well, it's a bad bill. Well, first, they were saying that before they saw the bill. Second, it wasn't just... The G this wasn't just like one GOP senator, uh, Langford from Oklahoma. You had 10 GOP senators working with the Democrats, and a dozen House members were also in the mix. They don't tell you that. Third, the idea that the House wanted a tougher bill, you know, they passed a bill last year, H.R. 2. You should look it up. The Senate bill is very arguably stronger than the version that the House passed. Why? The Senate bill did a lot less on pathways to citizenship than the House bill did. The Senate bill doesn't even address dreamers, which sucks, by the way, but it doesn't. Talk about tough. I mean, I think that's foolish, but it's tough. And they did more to change the rules on the Senate side, the rules that are keeping our security handcuffed instead of the illegal entrance. That's why the CBP union backed the Senate bill. The CBP is Custom and Border Patrol. Another reality. Does President Biden deserve the blame for the chaos? Yes. All the metrics that matter are way up. Why? A little bit of it is perception. A little bit of it is complicated. But here's what matters. When he came in, he scuttled a number of home country deals and executive actions like remain in Mexico. And that was a mistake. And he has failed to use executive authority to do anything for years. And frankly, even this Senate bill, the Democrats got lucky on it that the left exposed their resistance because uh, that the right exposed their resistance to it because the Democrats only proposed this bill right now for election convenience. They had years. They haven't wanted to touch it. However, the idea that it's an open border, that's BS. The truth is bad enough. There's no need to hype it, but that's what the game's about, right? We know this. Why? Because people are doing their jobs and they say they're enforcing the law. But we also see it in the numbers that have been on the screen forever. There are more people caught and being deported. Now, why? Because that's because there's a lot more people coming. But uh, you, you can't have it both ways. Either they're not ex executing the laws or they are. And obviously they are. There are just too many people coming and the laws need to be changed. So we need to do a lot more and a lot better. But all hope is not lost. Representative Brian Fitzpatrick, a Republican from Pennsylvania, and Representative Jared Golden, the Democrat of Maine, have their own bipartisan bill in the House, and they join me now. First of all, hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. 
Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.